Hello everyone and welcome to our first webcast on Pipeline Lead Prediction Systems. I am here with Mr. Mohammed Faisal, who is our resident LDS expert and principal consultant on process digitalization. He brings with him 12 years of experience in oil and gas, process design and engineering, process modeling and simulation. So let's start with the obvious question, uh, what is an LDS system? Uh, thank you, Ahmed, for inviting me and for arranging this uh, webcast series on an important topic. Uh, LDS systems are, as per API standards, are defined as a set of monitoring tools that enable pipeline operators uh, to identify anomalies across pipeline that may be an indication of leakage and commodity releases. There are other uh, various applications of uh, LDS systems, like uh, for tanks leakages to identify leakages in reservoir systems. But our today's discussion is primarily focused on the detection systems over pipelines. So why are these systems needed for pipelines? Uh, well, uh, this is a very important question. There is always a very strong need of uh, LDS systems on pipelines and uh, that involved uh, the transportation of uh, chemicals, hydrocarbons. Uh, when we consider their adverse impacts on environment, safety, and uh, supply and demand um, conditions of the country and specific region, um, which might produce uh, uh, some regulatory and compliance issues and uh, in, some, in certain cases there are heavy financial losses as well. Um, even in uh, some cases where I have witnessed that uh, there are a great number of pilferage and theft attempts uh, by clients passing through densely populated regions uh, and therefore product releases through such uh, uh, pipelines cannot be afforded. Uh, you can uh, say that uh, LDS systems are imp uh, very important for such strategic assets. Okay, so uh, you mentioned that LDS is a set of monitoring tools. So are there multiple ways or methods to go about it? Yes, definitely. Uh, there, there, there are ways methods uh, to detect uh, and localize leaks uh, and these methods are broadly classified into two main categories. Um, uh, Hardware methods, uh, which are sometimes referred as uh, external LDS systems, and uh, software-based methods, which are referred also as uh, internal LDS systems, or API classifies them as as uh, computational pipeline monitoring uh, systems as well, because uh, software methods uh, uses algorithms uh, to to identify, detect, and localize leaks. Uh, yeah, for every method, there, is, there are pros and cons, uh, and final selection of that technology depends upon uh, pipeline characteristics, uh, performance requirements set by the customer, and many other factors. So, uh, which of these systems do you specialize in? Uh, well, Emmet, we deal uh, in both type of systems, hardware methods and software methods, but we specialize mainly in uh, software-based systems and technologies. Uh, we have years of, ex uh, years of experience uh, on installation of uh, uh, leak detection systems on complex pipelines and long distance pipelines. Okay, so uh, what are the main reasons anyone would pick either method, hardware, or software leak detection system? What criteria would they have in mind to pick one? Uh, it is generally said that uh, external systems based on fiber optic are more are a more reliable form of leak detection systems, uh, but these benefits do come at a significant capital cost, and uh, sometimes uh, uh, on existing pipelines, it's it's uh, not a feasible solution to install uh, fiber optic based systems even on complex pipelines and networks uh, uh, which are already running. Uh, it's uh, always hard to install uh, and to invest uh, uh, heavily on uh, external hardware LDS systems. Uh, my software based systems are less expensive and uh, provide more insights uh, into the pipeline operations and leak scenarios which otherwise are not possible in external systems. Uh, some other advantages of uh, software-based systems are that uh, it's generally easy uh, to prove the performance of such systems. Also, we can integrate other applications like batch tracking, pick tracking into the LDS systems. Um, and for operators, obviously, um, uh, software-based systems are more easy to operate and they can comprehend the results easily. So, uh, what are some performance KPIs of uh, software-based pipeline leak detection? Uh, well, for uh, uh, LDS systems based on CPM technology, API has defined performance parameters, which are actually four parameters, uh, sensitivity, uh, accuracy, 
reliability and availability. We define sensitivity as a measure of uh, uh, smallest leak detectable size uh, uh, and the response time to uh, to uh, detect that leak. While accuracy is defined as the uh, the precision with which we can estimate and determine leak location through LDS methods. And uh, uh, the reliability is a measure of uh, the rate of false alarms which system can produce while generating results of the LDS. And availability is defined as the uptime of the LDS and uh, the, the accuracy the with accuracy with which uh, it keeps on operating in case of uh, missing or bad data due to communication losses. Uh, there are uh, two ways to define uh, such parameters. Uh, either the uh, pipeline operator company defines these parameters based on some applicable standards and uh, historical performance of uh, uh, and records of records of leak data. Uh, and, uh, and another matter is that we uh, do uh, sensitivity calculations and uh, we determine uh, uh, performance benchmarks uh, based on existing or uh, the onboard or we propose the new set of uh, instruments with high accuracy. So are there any external factors that affect the performance of the software-based leak detection system? Yes, obviously. Uh, there are many uh, factors uh, which are sometimes overlooked by end users while gauging the performance of LDS systems. Uh, these include uh, uh, communication infrastructure, uh, instruments accuracy, pipeline characteristics, nature of the product in the pipeline, uh, uh, and uh, the skill set of the operators which are operating the LDS system. So all these are the co contributing factors uh, towards the performance of the LDS system. Okay. So um, how exactly does software-based lead detection work? Uh, Emma, this is very interesting aspect of the LDS systems. Uh, we start configuration by uh, building the digital twin of the pipeline. Uh, we define exactly the uh, mimic of uh, uh, pipeline in the system by defining the characteristics of the pipeline like diameter, length, elevation profile, roughness, um, and thickness. So all these parameters uh, are configured inside the software to make the digital twin. So once that twin is ready, uh, where we uh, software uh, starts the simulation and cal uh, and the, do some calculation um, at the back end based on the law of conservation of mass energy and momentum. So the results of those uh, uh, equations are then uh, displayed over the screen and uh, we, we make the plot of the hydraulic profiles. Actually hydraulic profiles uh, provide the information of the pipeline in unmetered areas. So that's why this whole simulation is called real-time transient modeling because it does the modeling and simulation of the pipeline in real time. RTDM. Yes, you would call it as RTDM. So how is a leak actually detected uh, within the simulation? So, well, I mean, once uh, our simulation and RTDM model is running fine, so we, we um, uh, define and we configure the LDS methods uh, also which run in parallel uh, and complement each other. Uh, so for detecting the uh, leak size and uh, uh, we configure the uh, model composite mass balance method, uh, which actually does uh, the balancing of the line uh, by uh, incorporating inflow, outflow, and the uh, line inventory changes. So uh, based on MCMB, we, uh, we determine the leak size and uh, response time of the system. Uh, while uh, leak localization is done by two techniques, which are defined as negative pressure wave and pressure gradient method. And uh, negative pressure wave method is uh, generally more reliable and most fast method uh, for uh, localizing the leak uh, because it accounts for the speed of sound and, uh, and of the in the product and uh, based on the time of flight of method uh, it determines the leak location because in NPW method we would take uh, into account high sampling data from pressure measurements and we send those high sampling data into the LDS server which runs more calculations on it and it uh, precisely determines the leak location. Another method which complements this NPW method is the pressure gradient method and uh, uh, when those software does that it uh, plot, uh, plots the gradients um, on both sides of the leaks mm -hmm. and gradients are you can define as this it is a, a difference between the uh, pressure measurements in leak conditions and no leak conditions. So once the, uh, the, the, at the intersection of those gradients, uh, the software then uh, calculates the leak location. Okay. So 
So to summarize, you use mass balancing to detect whether there is a leakage, yeah. and then you use negative pressure and pressure gradient to figure out where, where the leakage yeah. is. Exactly. Yeah. MCMB is uh, generally more reliable uh, leak detection method, uh, and then comes the NPW, and then comes the PGM. So this simulation would, uh, it sounds like it still needs some actual pipeline data to work with, right? So uh, what's the minimum infrastructure that someone would need to implement a software-based leak detection system? Uh, we uh, ask operator, uh, pipeline operators uh, to share us with, with us uh, the pipeline information like uh, pipeline characteristics. As I mentioned earlier, we, we need that information to make the digital twin of the pipeline. We ask for the product and details. We ask for the allocation profile and uh, what uh, sort of uh, communication infrastructure is installed in the system and what are the uh, accuracy of the instruments, uh, existing instruments. If current uh, uh, set of instruments uh, provide the required level of accuracy, and uh, then we can go for that. Otherwise, we propose a new set of highly accurate instruments. Yeah. What would those current instruments be? Uh, it can be uh, pressure, temperature, flow, and the okay. So these the are four yes, yeah, standard process uh, measurement uh, yeah. instruments. So how is this simulation visualized, and how are alerts generated and communicated using this system? Uh, to benefit from this uh, powerful software solution, we build highly interactive screens for operators and for engineers as well. Uh, we configure uh, separate uh, alerts uh, for each LDS method, and we uh, also uh, combined alert for the uh, for our reliable heat detection, we configure it on the main screen as well. So, would you like to share your experience on any recent LDS projects? Yes, I mean, we have many success stories uh, of uh, LDS systems. Uh, and, uh, Intex offered solution powered by PSI pipeline installed on many hydrocarbon pipelines. In some recent deployments, we have achieved stringent performance benchmark parameters uh, uh, set by the customer. Um, since we have, a, as I said earlier, we have a team of dedicated uh, experts and engineers who have done extensive R&D in this domain. Uh, a testament to the success of our projects is that uh, customer was able to uh, uh, identify and, and, to, and they captured many theft clamps uh, uh, with a precision of a few hundred meters of accuracy. And uh, currently they are uh, tracking their batches and pigs with uh, even more accuracy and uh, it has improved their day-to-day um, -day operations very well. Thank you very much, Faisal. Thank you for joining us today. This is all the time we had for our first session. Uh, so that concludes our first session. Uh, in future sessions, we'll be talking about digitalization, cybersecurity, and infrastructural improvements in terms of uh, Industry 4.0. Uh, in the meantime, if you guys have any questions about LDS systems, you can send us an email on marketing at intechww.com. You can also check out our website and the digitalization solutions we offer there. Thank you.